Because if the essence of the teaching of Christ is to become a devotee of God, and Prabhupada is teaching how you become an actual devotee of God. So, uh, if Christ would reincarnate again, I'm sure he would uh, become a member of the high Christian movement. <laughs> And then the Christians, they would capture him and they would crucify him again, <laughs> probably. Uh, that's <laughs> and this is where life goes on. Any, any questions? Mm -hmm. I met a couple of months ago, I met a fairy lady. <clears throat> and she said, because I was really speaking about God. And God consciousness, and she said that she practices. She goes to her um, her congregation, and they have a house in Amma, and that place is called Krishna Stua. Stua means room huh? yeah. in Norwegian also, fairy. But they pronounce it like Christian. They pronounce it Krishna. You can't hear the T, you know, they say Krishna. 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 Okay. So it sounds, you know, we go to Krishna Stua. And then I told her, we also go there. But ours is in Bangladesh. And she took a book and she was very happy. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the name is the same. Yeah. And you meet Christians who are actually genuine God conscious. And they actually, you know, you can bond with them. You actually, I had one man yesterday also then. <laughs> on the street, and he at first he was hesitant like that, but then he just said, "No, I, I, I go to the church, and uh, it's, I get full, you know, uh, you know, I'm, all my needs are fulfilled in the in the church and the masses there." And uh, but actually, he, he was he, he just he was just you know he wanted to be connected with God, and he was very sincere. <coughs> so actually, we could speak, and uh, he understood that actually, and actually, he was even touched and almost had tears in eyes like that and someone who's also into God consciousness. He bought bought one book actually. And I had to sign my name in it and like that. So you remember me. And uh, and then when I came back, he, a couple of hours later he came back, passed by, just passed by and said came and pat, pat me on the show and say, Hi, I'm here. So it's I mean so genuine Christians, actually those who sincerely want to be connected with God, they appreciate the movies too. If we, I mean, of course, if you treat them well, if we become fanatical and condemn them, that's not the problem. I was on several occasions, I made the Seventh Day Adventures yeah. that I spoke with, and they're stunned, you know, because they say, we believe the same, we do the same thing. Mm. Because they're vegetarian, yeah. and they're actually very strict, and they're not speculating so much as both Catholics and uh, and Protestants. Mm. Seventh Day Adventists, they're like really proper followers. Yeah, yeah. And they're vegetarian. They learn the teaching. Yeah, yeah. And it's just generally our duty to when we relate to Christians, simply appreciate their sincerity and you know where they are. Prabhupada was, you know, confrontational with, uh, with many Christians like this French cardinal like that. Uh, but that wasn't true. That Prabhupada was, you know, there were disciples around that he was being recorded, and Prabhupada was, uh, as I understand it, more speaking not so much to the cardinal who was beyond me, you know, um, but he was speaking to his disciples and for posterity. Because it would, it, you know, it, it might, you know, it might be, you know, recorded and written down, which actually it, it was. So we not, it's not that whenever we meet a Christian, we have to hammer him or anything like that. <laughs> it's because uh, uh, so we have to. Okay. Anything else? This magazine is based on this pro uh, um, What is this blue magazine? I hope so. Yeah, this is by written by Prabhupada or it's a, I mean there's a section on Prabhupada on Christ. 
And then there is a long, I mean, the, the, the major part of the magazine is an article by Sohotra Swami. You know that? His article on Christianity? You remember that? So that's there. And then there is uh, one article written by me uh, discussing the traces of <coughs> Jesus Christ's connection to India and stay in India and like that. By your own discovery. You know? Huh? By your own discovery. Oh, no, no, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't I mean, discover or research myself. I, I simply take what others, you know, and condense it and put it together. What I mean, what yeah, like, like for example, this, this one. This book here, Jesus lived in India. This one is famous. It's a German theo theologian who wrote a whole book on all the, you know traces of Christ, or a, a, a figure who's known by the name Isa, uh, all over uh, northern India, uh, Kashmir, Afghanistan, uh, Persia, or Iran, Middle East, and like that. He's, he's, there is known as Isa, and he's, he, was con he, he lives at the same time as Christ, he has the same characteristic of Christ and like that. And, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it must have been Christ. So, the, 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 so this German scholar, he was uh, researching that for many, many years, and he, you know, he concluded it was, Christ was, it was Christ who was active, not only in Israel, but he was active on very large area. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we could read this. I mean, it's useful information. Not that we necessarily have to go out on crusades and preach it to all the Christians, but it's, uh, it's good for us to know. So we have to know what is what. Jai, do we have Gorati here? Is Jai ready for it? Yeah. Guys, you're probably going to keep. Guys, you're going to keep.